The use of psychedelics has been a controversial topic for decades. From the 1960s counterculture movement to recent studies on their therapeutic potential, these substances have captivated the attention of scientists and the public alike. Today, we will explore the science behind psychedelics and their potential to therapeutic uses. The modern history of psychedelics can be traced back to the 1940s when Swiss chemist Albert Hoffman first synthesized LSD. Albert Hoffman was a chemist for the pharmaceutical company called Sandoz. In the 1930s, the company was actively researching compounds derived from ergot, a fungus that grows on rye and other grains. Hoffman was specifically interested in the chemical structure of lysergic acid, a compound found in ergot. In 1938, he synthesized lysergic acid diethylamide, better known as LSD, for the first time, but did not observe any significant effects. However, five years later, Hoffman accidentally ingested a small amount of LSD while working with the compound in his lab. He later described the experience as a not unpleasant intoxicated-like condition and was intrigued by the potential of LSD as a tool for psychiatric research. The drug gained popularity in the 1960s as part of the counterculture movement. The counterculture movement was a cultural and political rebellion against mainstream American society. It was characterized by a rejection of traditional values, a search for personal freedom, and a desire for social and political change. LSD and other psychedelics played a significant role in the counterculture movement as they were seen as a way to challenge the status quo and explore new forms of consciousness. Many young people turned to LSD as a way to rebel against strict social norms of their parents' generation and to seek a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. The popularity of LSD continued to grow throughout the 1960s as it became more widely available and was embraced by prominent counterculture figures like Timothy Leary. Leary, a psychologist and advocate for LSD, promoted the drug as a way to achieve personal and spiritual enlightenment, and his ideas helped to popularize the drug among young people. However, the use of LSD also raised concerns among lawmakers and the public, who viewed it as a dangerous drug that could lead to unpredictable behavior and mental illness. In response to those concerns, LSD was officially banned in the U.S. in 1968, and its use and possession were made illegal. The ban of LSD and other psychedelics marked the end of the counterculture movement and the beginning of a new era of drug policy. While the use of these substances continues to be controversial and heavily regulated, recent research has suggested that they may have potential therapeutic uses for certain mental health conditions. LSD and other psychedelics can affect the default mode network in the brain, which is a group of brain regions that are active when we are not focused on the outside world, but rather on internal thoughts, emotions, and memories. This network is involved in our sense of self and our perception of the world around us. Psychedelics can temporarily disrupt our normal thought patterns and allow us to experience a state of ego dissolution or a sense of oneness with the universe. Specifically, psychedelics can reduce activity in the default mode network, leading to a temporary dissolution of the sense of self and an altered perception of reality. This can result in a feeling of interconnectedness with the universe and a sense of spiritual or mystical experience. While the exact mechanisms behind these effects are not yet fully understood, ongoing research suggests that they may have therapeutic potential for certain mental health conditions. Studies have shown that substances like the active ingredient in magic mushrooms can be effective in treating depression, anxiety, and even addiction. For example, researchers found that a single dose of the active ingredient in magic mushrooms can produce long-lasting positive changes in mood, attitude, and behavior in cancer patients with depression and anxiety. Nearly 80% of the patients reported significant reductions in symptoms of depression and anxiety six months after the treatment. Furthermore, a small study at the University of Alabama found that psychedelic-assisted therapy can be helpful in treating alcohol addiction. 
Participants who received treatment reported decreased cravings for alcohol and improved mood and quality of life. It is believed that psychedelics can help treat depression by activating the serotonin 2A receptor in the brain. This receptor is involved in regulating mood, anxiety, and stress, and the activation of it can lead to changes in neural activity and connectivity that may help alleviate symptoms of depression. This may explain why patients who undergo psychedelic-assisted therapy often report a profound shift in their mindset and a newfound sense of meaning and purpose. However, these therapies are not without risk, and researchers are still working to understand the long-term effects of these substances on the brain. In terms of reported deaths from LSD use, it is relatively rare for LSD to cause fatal overdoses. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, there have been no reported deaths from LSD overdose. While LSD is generally considered to be a relatively safe drug, it's important to remember that it can still be dangerous and lead to a range of negative consequences. Firstly, psychological effects may occur. LSD can cause intense psychological effects, including hallucinations, delusions, and paranoia. These effects can be unpredictable and can last for several hours, which can be distressing and potentially dangerous for some individuals. In rare cases, individuals can experience bad trips, which can lead to panic attacks, extreme anxiety, and even suicidal thoughts. Secondly, physical effects may occur. LSD can also cause a range of physical effects, including increased heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature. In rare cases, these effects can lead to medical complications, such as seizures and heart failure. Lastly, there are risks of accidents. LSD can impair judgment and coordination, which can increase the risk of accidents and injuries. Individuals under the influence of LSD should never operate heavy machinery or drive a vehicle, as this can lead to serious accidents and harm to themselves and others. Despite the challenges, the research on psychedelics and their potential therapeutic uses is a promising area of study. With careful research and consideration, we may one day unlock the full potential of these substances to heal the mind and transform lives. So, stay tuned and keep watching PaperShare for more updates on the latest scientific discoveries and mysteries in all fields of science. Thank you for watching.